welcome to Sullivan's Farm. I'm waiting on a man to get back to me about the big hole in the ground I showed you in the last video or a couple of videos ago and I have something of a plan after talking to another man in the meantime as to what type of tank needs to go in here. So the bad news, it would be say to cover 60 cows or, or maybe 80 cattle, depending on what way things happen over the next couple of years. A lot of ifs and buts in there. It would be about a 90 foot tank. Um, so 90 foot from that far up end, down along to the end there. And then it would be, I think 12, a 12 foot six inch slat on top or the equivalent of say, so from that corner there, out to the edge here, we might need to push that bank down a bit. And then about eight foot deep in total. So we're down kind of four feet from the yard up there as it is. Some of it is kind of dug out, um, which is something I'm looking for, for kind of good news. And the plan would be if we could get the tank in first, put a fence uh, around it to keep everything and anything out. And then a couple of years later, we'd put slats on top. And then a few more years after that, if we're all still alive, we'll put a shed on top of that as well. So I have a figure in my head for what the tank is going to cost without the slats and without the shed. But we'll, we'll see what the man who really knows his stuff says when he calls for a look. The next reel is up for the cattle as well. This is the field I showed you a couple of weeks ago that I topped. Um, didn't get any fertilizer, but grass growth rates are just going very well at the moment. And this one beside it here is the one we cut silage off there last week or two weeks ago. Again, hasn't got any fertilizer since it was cut. I'll throw out the last bit for the year on that in the, the next couple of days. And these are the cattle that'll be going up there. They're up to three kgs a day now. Uh, they're doing well. Still plenty docks in this field. I've a feeling we'll end up burning it off next year and just reseeding it again. But price of them isn't great at the moment, but it seems to be not dropping as fast. Which I suppose that's kind of grasping at straws, looking for good news. But hopefully it won't have dropped much further by the time they're going in about a month's time. Those first 10 to go will leave something of a, a decent margin because in my experience, <laughs> limited and all as that is, it's the first ones that go that leave the most. And uh, the ones that come after that, then it starts going down fairly rapidly as you, you kind of move on into the year. But we'll see how they go. We're out with the calves here now. They're out in the near knock again. They're waiting for their few cubes. They're still on an 18% protein nut or they're finishing off the last of that and the next one, next cubes I've ordered is a 16% nut, which thankfully is a good few quid cheaper. We'll keep going on a kilo of that for the next couple of months and then they'll be out on the fodder rape. So it'll be another kilo or a kilo and a half. And it's kind of never ending when you're feeding them the cubes until I suppose they get out next year when they come off the fodder rape. We've had a few wet days, so the ground is a bit soft, but they're not doing much damage to it around here and they're getting through it plenty of clover in this as well so it's doing well and they're doing well the sun is shining so we won't complain that much grass is flying out here on the receded ground as well um and i'm going to have a little bit of a whinge now i'm going to say grass is almost growing too fast and there's too many of those little what are they called nitrogen poo wee islands you can see them there now. Maybe it's only normal in receded ground. I just haven't seen it as, what would you say, as, as obvious or as intense as it is here. I didn't spread too much nitrogen or, or I kept close enough to whatever the, the official guidelines are, just a little bit under that, the usual thing. But I'm kind of wondering if there's just too much nitrogen in the ground um, and I certainly won't be spreading any more up here anyway and we leave it alone till next year now but overall the cattle are doing well here so i can't complain too much and they are not far off say going on a finishing diet some of them either so i don't want to make them force or i don't want to force them to eat the grass or to bear it down too much either here they are 
they're doing well and of course they found the one place where there's not wire so they'd be looking out into the field beside us here they're on their second grazing of the reseeded ground now they probably get four grazings off it weather dependent so i'm happy with that and i can't complain too much for once one thing i will have to do though is put wire along here I think I was asking in a previous video as to whether we'd need to put wire along there or not or whether the ditch would keep them back but they're doing a bit of rooting, they're pulling down a few stones just in general it needs to be done so we'll do that at some stage as well it's not a big job, it just needs to be done so we'll add it to the to-do list the ever-growing to-do list so that's it for this video short and sharp and to the point it's, I just don't have much else to show on the video, I haven't got much else done this week. It's it's not that I don't have plenty of other jobs to do, but I just didn't seem to get around to them this week with the, the young lads off school, the three day off farm jobs spilling into four days and bits and pieces like that. And then I did four milkins in a farm as well this week. So all these things take time, but hopefully next week, normal service will be resumed. And thanks a million for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck.